So, 10,000 steps. Is it really what's needed? Because that's what we've been told for years, all your wearable devices, if you have them, tell you 10,000 steps is the mark. But where does that really come from? Well, 10,000 steps was created by a man trying to sell pedometers um, in the lead up to the 1964 Tokyo Olympic Games. He created a device called the Man Po K. Man meaning 10,000, Po meaning steps, and K meaning meter. So 10,000 steps meter. So no science behind that really. And we've stuck to that for years afterwards, as you can tell. So where is the science? Well, I've read a few studies recently that point to the optimal number of steps being 7,000 or around 7,000, seven to seven and a half thousand. And what we get from that is optimal benefit for the amount of steps you do. So I'm not saying don't do more than 7,000 steps but the, uh, it's diminishing returns beyond that point. You'll always get more from it, but uh, it's not linear as it is up to the 7,000 mark. So if you do 10,000 steps, there's more benefit than 7,000, just not a linear jump in the same way. So the more steps you do, you'll always feel better for, but always try and get to that 7,000. I have some tips here for you. If you're struggling to get 7,000 steps done in one fell swoop, don't worry. You don't have to do it. It's not a, a count all in one go. It's just an accumulative amount on that day. So if you take a few trips to the shop, for example, just park a little bit further away, give yourself a little bit more work to do from car door to shop door. Take the stairs more. Don't take escalators, don't take lifts. Also, if you haven't got anything to do at lunch, get yourself up out your desk. Go for a walk, go to the shops, walk around the village. Just do these things, little and often, will soon accumulate 7,000 steps. And if you don't make 7,000 steps in a day, don't worry. You can make it up during the week. So as long as you're getting a cumulative amount during the week, you're all good. Hope this helps.